Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host Ali Hummer and today we're interviewing Michael Fox, the founder and CEO of Fable Food. Michael, thanks so much for being on the show today. Can you start by telling our viewers a little bit about Fable Food? Thanks for having me, Ali. Um, yeah, Fable Food, uh, we, our mission is to help end industrial animal agriculture. And to do that, we want to make it easy for consumers to reduce their meat consumption uh, and swap that out for uh, mushrooms and plant-based ingredients. So we focus on producing delicious meat-like foods, uh, but made from mushrooms and a short list of all natural plant-based ingredients. So the first product that we launched onto the market a little bit over 12 months ago replicates pulled pork, braised beef and beef brisket. Uh, and it's made from two thirds shiitake mushrooms. Um, and then, uh, and then yeah, all, all natural plant-based, whole food-based uh, ingredients. I'm actually vegetarian, so it's so fascinating to me to hear how Fable Food is using science to transform the way that we eat meat. And as an innovative food company, can you share with us, how do you guys actually benefit from being on the cloud? Yeah, so our, our team are all, uh, all operate remotely. We've got uh, some team in uh, Melbourne, I'm up on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, a couple of other colleagues in Brisbane, uh, one in Malaysia, two in China, and one in the UK. Um, so we're all very, very spread out. Um, so yeah, we're operating on the cloud sort of makes it easy for us to uh, to sort of share documents and share files, share share images, um, you know, communicate with each other and, and, and people external to the company. Um, so yeah, we kind of set up that way pre-COVID and, and that's sort of served as well over the last 18 months. It's really amazing to hear how a company like Fable Food is utilizing the cloud. And Michael, how have you actually used the cloud to help support your goal of creating a really healthy and sustainable meat replacement? Yeah, so um, so specifically with some Amazon products, we use um, AWS to host our fablefood.co website. Um, and that was super helpful for us through COVID. We, we actually ran a, um, a couple of uh, marketing campaigns where we sort of went out to support uh, local restaurants and cafes who were, who were struggling sort of around the start of lockdown around sort of April, May last year. Um, so we did, for example, on the Sunshine Coast, we did a, um, we called it a date night hamper. Um, and uh, a stay home date night hamper. So we teamed up with uh, some restaurants that did meals, uh, a local brewery who um, puts beer in the hamper. Um, we had some uh, fable and, and the restaurants were doing fable, fable meals. Um, and then we teamed up with a local pottery studio who put in a sort of stay at home kind of pottery kit. Uh, and then there were some videos that gave you some pottery lessons. So we ran, uh, ran that as, so people could pay $99, have that delivered uh, to them at home um, while they were in lockdown. Um, and we ran that as a bit of a marketing campaign and it got a lot of media traction. Um, so we ended up on, on sort of the Channel 7 News on the Sunshine Coast and a bunch of the radio stations here. Um, so we ended up with a lot of traffic coming to our website um, and, and yeah, hosting that on AWS meant that we could scale up the number of servers really easily and, uh, and handle all that traffic and, and those orders that were coming in. Wow, I love that idea of that hamper, and I wish it was actually available yesterday on Valentine's Day. That would have been super useful for us. <laughs> that would have been. <laughs> so can you share with us any exciting future projects that you guys have in the pipeline? Because I know you're always at the forefront of innovation. What's coming up next for Fable Food? Yeah, so we've got some new mushroom-based uh, meat alternative products that we'll be launching soon. Um, I, I can't say what they are yet, but uh, mid-year we'll have our second product um, launching, and then towards the end of the year we'll have a third product launching. Um, we're also launching some more, um, we've got some Fable Ready Meals in, in uh, Woolworths. Um, those are, those are, we're launching some more into more meals into Woolworths in April and also launching those into Coles. Um, and then we're expanding internationally. So we just launched in uh, Singapore in, in a restaurant chain called Salad Stop. Uh, and we just, just launched into a, a vegan burger chain in the UK um, called The Burger. Um, and that's in addition to continuing the, the rollout in Australia. We're now in sort of around 250 cafes and restaurants in Australia, and that, that number's growing pretty quickly, um, as well as having our braised beef product uh, in, and, and ready meals in Coles and Woolworths. It's so exciting. And just one last question that we're asking all our customers this month. What's your top tip for creating a fun working culture within your business? Because I'm sure that COVID um, has made it harder. And also you said that you've got stuff all around the world. So how do you guys connect and how do you make it fun? Yeah, pro probably the biggest thing for us is, um, is everyone on the team is really motivated by the, the mission. Um, you know, we want to help create sort of sustainable, uh, ethical, uh, healthy food for people. 
Um, and, and so the people that have come that come and work for Fable are all very much driven by that mission. And, and if anything, over COVID, um, all those issues have become more important. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of the piece that really works for us culturally and has everyone excited and, to, and motivated to come to work every day, my, myself included. Michael, thanks so much for being on the show today. You were someone I was really excited to interview, especially because I myself love Fable Foods. So thank you for your time today. And to all our viewers at home, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Thanks.